If someone takes his ranch, Doug plans to fall back to one of several shelters that he can live in temporarily. Today, he is putting the finishing touches on a new build with the help of his friend and fellow prepper, Brian. So I'm excited to show you my little project I've been bragging to you about. <laughs> this is a spider hole, dude. Yes, the whole big area just underground for, uh, for me to live in. <laughs> it's right in the middle of the roadway, too. A spider hole is a combat term widely used in the Vietnam War. It is a camouflaged one-man foxhole, about three feet deep and seven feet long. Doug plans to use them to hide in plain sight for three to seven days at a time. This is where I would be at the uh, end of the world, home sweet home. Most important thing about this entire project, this lid uh, has to be camouflaged to match the surrounding area. We're just gonna add everything that's around here, all right? We gotta make it look the same as everything. So all this dead grass that's through here, these little pieces of slate we want to add after we get, uh, you know, a good layer of dirt on here. And because Doug cannot predict which locations will be safe from the chaos of a potential economic collapse, he's taken the prepper rule of a plan B to a whole new level. This is just one in a network of spider holes built over hundreds of miles. This is, you know, um, my last resort, but this is my guaranteed survival system. I've got half a dozen of these strewn over the next 200 miles up to uh, almost 9,000 feet. How much will that hold? Oh, you could drive a Jeep across it. Uh, should like to see you drive a tractor over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? You want a tractor? Oh my God. Yeah, I got a tractor. <laughs> oh my God. What do you think? <laughs> my plan is to retreat, ride it out, and live to fight another day. That's what the spider hole is for. And survival's the goal, it's into the spider hole. Yeah, it's cozy in here. 